trying to open up the window. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Here we go. Boo. Oh. Hello and welcome everyone to Dark Heresy. This is the Carousel of Chaos. This is a Dark Heresy homebrew campaign that is going to be taking place here for the next few weeks on the channel, if not a few months. This campaign is a lot of homebrew, a lot of fun stuff, and yeah, it should be uh, very interesting. And I'm very excited for this campaign. So, going down my gaggle of characters, we have quite a few here. So, uh, who wants to start us off? Let's start with Core. Oh, yes. Hello. Uh, yeah. Give I an introduction am playing... of, your, of yourself. Yep. Yeah, I'm Stone. I'll be playing Core Virilion, who is a tech priest psycho who was awakened by the opening of the Cicatrix Maledictum. Alrighty. And moving on, we have Avalon. Hello, I am Avalon Karamas, also known as Provoked Coffee, a small-time streamer. Uh, I will be playing the character of Avalon Karamas, who is a wannabe pirate trying to make his way in the world. Hopefully one day to have a name that's uh, well known. Alrighty. Then we go on to the most gullible of characters. Uh, I, I am uh, Giko, um, and I'm going to be playing uh, Shazla Joram Kemp. Uh, he's, a, he's a rather interesting human. It's, uh, technically, he's a Guavesa, and it's first time outside of the greater good. Alrighty, then we have our other tech priest. Uh, hello, I am Pigface. I am playing Richter Vocht Hyde. Uh, he is a more medical oriented tech priest who is more or less a refugee from a demon world. Um, yeah. And speaking of deplorable places, we have our last character. I, uh, I'm Shade. Uh, I'll be playing Tycona, who is a Drakari with some thirst for blood. Good old chaotic yeah. characters. In, in more, the more literal sense. So, going over this campaign really quickly, we had quite a few things happen in Session Zero that led them all here. Uh, and before we get into that, I thought I would give you guys a quick rundown of Session Zero. So... Let's uh let's start with Corvarillion. Uh would you like to give a brief description of what happened in your session zero? Uh yeah. Um Well, uh Cor started out just in a research station, uh got in a bit of trouble from having a dusty workstation. Uh she was transferred to an exploratory fleet, I'm pretty sure. As yep. a way to like bring something back to make up for inefficiencies, and uh, upon arrival on the way there, met some weird imperial guard looking people that weren't particularly too happy to be there. Uh, met a I'm forgetting the proper term, but essentially Mechanica's diplomat. And uh, right as we were introducing ourselves, she was very disappointed in. <laughs> That she'd been sent core Virilian instead of her cousin. And right at that moment, the Cadia fell and the galaxy was torn asunder. And this essentially punched a hole into her mind, uh, awakened latent psychic abilities, uh, which immediately resulted in like phasing through reality, knocking an offered drink out of the hand, forgetting all languages, and passing out in <laughs> six months. <laughs> yes, but, so if you guys haven't been able yeah. to figure this out yet, this game takes place after the Cicatrix Maledictum. In fact, it may take place anywhere from one to a few dozen years afterwards. Also, hello everyone in chat, thank you for joining us. We got one from Spain and one from Scotland, nice. 
so Cora's, uh, Cora's introduction to her psychic gifts was uh, an uncontrollable one, which led her for led her astray and put a gap in her mind as she explored the explored the blankness of space. And speaking of the dark crevices of space, the Dukari raiding vessel known as it was the, the Crimson Charmer. The Crimson Charmer was ever so lovely replying to a distress call, you know, to send aid, if I'm correct. You can take it from here. Whilst going through space, looking for bountiful booty and enough treasure for all, ended up getting a distress signal from a Tau ship that seems to have run into a little bit of a problem. After fooling the Oso oh gullible Tau that I was going to help them, we went up to their ship, where we saw it was in flames, and obviously something awful was going on. This was of zero concern to us, Jukari, as we saw this as an amp opportunity to get treasure. After Talking with the Tau commander, we eventually managed to get them to uh, lower their shields, where we decided to finally show our true intentions by blowing up their cargo holds. Which um, did not go well. The second we did so, a lot of things came hurling at us. Including XV-8 battle suits and a whole plethora of smart missiles. But there was a there's another story happening aboard that ship. A um stowaway, if you will, was there, exiled from Kamora for her rather sadistic bloodlust, trying just so slightly to control herself long enough, she realized what was happening, and she made her daring escape in one of the pods. But aboard this Tau vessel, a different story played out. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little in shock actually hearing how this all connects. Uh, Joram, with his first exploration and first ever venture outside of the greater good, uh, was very quickly recruited to the Fifth Sphere expansion, where he was going to be one of the handful of Gulvesa fire warriors brought on to help possibly convert other Guayla to the greater good. A uh, few in their beginning journeys before they left the planet, he met some of the others. He trained a little, only to realize how bad their Geller field actually was as soon as it started to flicker out right as they went into the warp. If you guys the... don't know, this is the fifth sphere expansion that he was a part of. <clears throat> the uh, the the ship went into complete pandemonium. Most of the crew was slaughtered in the first few moments or however long it could have been weeks. I never really was sure. Uh, those who didn't die instantly were maddened, crazed, and Joram, with the help of a very friendly and very helpful crew, uh managed to make their way to a shuttle bay and open the door just as the shields on it were blown out and the entire bay was ejected into space, including his oh-so-helpful crew friend. Leaving Joram alone with very few options, he decided to make his way to the escape pods where he launched out of the ship and proceeded to watch as it collided with this now that I know Drukari vessel and detonated, ripping a new hole in the warp and sucking him in. So, to explain a bunch of things, <clears throat> a lot of these stories from Session Zero are actually connected without my player's full knowledge on this. But there's just one more story that took place. One of a tech priest. Yes. Uh, hello. So, that is me. So that while, uh, so there's this brief moment of possible 
respite. You know, he's finally on a vessel, and after managing to escape after the demon world basically became too much and became a lost cause. Um, so he could continue the fight elsewhere. Unfortunately for Richter, uh, it seemed that the ship was attacked by what initially uh, was perceived to be pirates. Definitely uh, just normal pirates. Yes, definitely, of course. Uh, which, during this, uh, he attempted or made his way to one of the escape pods. Um, but just outside of the hall, there was a hostage situation involving what was uh, later discovered to be a noblewoman. Um, unfortunately, uh, due to the state of how he escaped the world barely in one piece and the subsequent likely impact on his body from the attack uh he isn't very stealthy uh with like mechadendrites broken and dragging uh along the back of him uh which meant that he was uh sort of counter-attacked by the pirates who managed to deal a fair bit of damage to him including a stab to the chest and briefly uh disabled his hand um it might also be some type of poison that was injected into him without his knowledge unfortunately uh Things turned even more dire as in a attempt to save the hostage, the more perhaps logical or puzzle solving elements of my cogitators were perhaps compromised, perhaps thinking to a too quick in the moment and attempted to fire at the uh, uh, captor and missed uh, resulting in the death of the hostage I did manage to avenge her death um, and I did wish to investigate or at least see if there was anything noteworthy on her body uh, but just as I did the ship was really beginning to fall apart and I only had about five seconds well I escaped with only five seconds left before the ship tore itself apart um, doing a failed warp jump um, while a ominous vessel um, was adjacent to it with an interesting set of markings Mm-hmm. So, to I... summarize everything that has happened to everybody, they all had their own unique ways of getting into a drop pod of some various description. These are self-manned drop pods. Don't think of Astartes drop pods or Sister of Battle drop pods that deploy entire squads. These are single man drop pods. And they deployed down to their relative safety as the Sigadrix Maledictum tore across the galaxy. <clears throat> Space and time rendered meaningless as each of them found their way into the warp, only to be spit out here. Welcome to the space station known as the Mad Horizon. Each of your vessels has been... <clears throat> each of your vessels has been lying in cold space for some time, drifting around this thing, almost caught in its orbit before some sort of technology pulled each of the pods in one by one. <clears throat> each of you have now been pulled in and you are on the exterior of the ship with a boarding ramp coming to the drop pod itself, clamping around it, uh, sealing it with an environment around it and a shield to completely protect you as they uh, pry open their new prize. 
So rolling to determine which one of you it is, I have a D5 and it is three. So Joran, I need you to roll. Yeah. I need you to roll me an awareness test to see if you're awake. First off. All right. There we go. I, I don't see it on my end. Ah, no, mm -hmm. you are not. Well, you know, floating through the, uh, the vacuum of space in a solo person pod with no Geller field through the warp tends to drive people partially mad. So I may not be fully aware or cognizant of myself at the moment. This one has nice armor. This one does. What is that? It has a strange weapon. Go, take it, take it. That's ours. What is this armor? Can you get it off of him? Get it off. No, 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 no. Do not wake the fool. Pico, I need you to roll another awareness test. I'm still out cold. <laughs> yes, get it, get it, get it. Okay, okay. Is he starting to wake? Oh, he is! And they punch you in the head as hard as they can to knock you unconscious even more. <clears throat> Take the... Take the body. Oh, that would attract the guild. Don't want guild traffic. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Okay. It's another one. It's another one. Oh. There's so many. So many. This is our payday. Quick. Yes, yes. Get out. Get them. Okay. Next one. Also, I punched my hand really, really hard and hurt myself. <laughs> yeah, we heard, we heard that. <clears throat> Oh, that really hurt. <laughs> hey, okay. Get the beam. Get the beam. Got it. Got it. Pull it in. Pull it in. Okay. Have you destroyed the first one? Yes, yes. Pull the person in. Okay. Pry this one open. And this one is, uh, different. This is rougher design. Ah. Cut myself. What is this? Tycon, or how do I say your character's name again? Indeed. Uh, Tycona. Tycona, I need you to roll me an awareness right. test. See if you're All awake. Right. There is a scent in the air. One that wakes you up immediately. All right. I need your roll willpower test. Yay! <gasps> there we go! <laughs> your character has been sitting in the void for some days. <laughs> They're going to try to hold you back. Go ahead and roll an opposed, um, ow, I just smacked myself. Go ahead and roll an opposed weapon skill test as you try to grapple this individual. Because I assume you're leaping into action, right? Oh, yes, definitely. I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, no. <laughs> so they push you to the side and knock you down, and then they go, this one is dangerous. And you see them slam a gate in front of you as they uh, pull back into the next room. That, that one cut me. <sighs> the bleeding, it, is, it won't stop. And you see the person wrap their hand and look at you. And you can go ahead and roll an awareness test on this. Oh, yes. Uh... No, you're too distracted. This person looks at you and gives you a hiss and then leaves the room. You are currently trapped behind a cage with the only um, 
it's a uh oh my god what is this thing called the thing that grabs the ships uh wow i'm drawing a blanket names and i do apologize but nav clamp yeah let's go with that naval clamp thingy it is currently around your ship and there's a hallway to a caged um area that has you put into another room <clears throat> hmm. Okay, uh, Corp, I need you to roll me an awareness test. Woo. Alrighty, um, this is like a gen general consciousness. Yep. Cool. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, start. So good. This is a great start <laughs> to a campaign. Everyone failing every test except for the goddamn vampire. Oh. <laughs> I got my awareness at least. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> they look at uh, they look at you, and they go, "This, this one is weird. This, uh, these are the robes of the art of this uh, mechanicus. <laughs> she is human. She is human. They don't come out here anymore. But why is she here? I know not why she is here. I only know that she is." There she is. You expect me to solve this great mystery? Yes. Yes. No. I do not solve this mystery. I just see and I take. That is what we do. Oh. And... This thing is going to... I gotta look at your character sheet really quickly. This thing looks... Sees your auto gun and just goes... Ah. This is a useless weapon. We've got a ton of these. Nothing. Throws it back into the pod. And I need you to roll a toughness test. Oh. Because they just threw your gun at you. Oh, boy. The joys of... It hits... The beginner characters. <laughs> it, it hits you. And you slowly start to regain consciousness. Just as they shut the gate and start leaving. Worthless. Worthless. you think that those ones would have such good wares. Such good things. Ah, oh, yes. yes. All right. The next one. He's, uh, the one that has the cut hand looks at it and goes, I shall sit this one out. I shall sit this one out. And they back off. And, um, Avalon. I need you to roll an awareness test. Okay. Hey! So, as soon as the thing pries the thing open, they, they say, Oh, who is this? I have been spinning for far too long. Oh. This one's awake! And I need you to roll a weapon skill test. Oh my god. Are right, you just waiting on your... Yeah, you beat them. So they go to throw a punch at you and you catch it. What do you wish to do? I... Throw them on the ground. I All use right. their momentum to just throw them on the ground. Alright. Um. So you're... They get up, they look at you really quickly. There is a step before they can get to the cage itself. So I need you to roll an opposed weapon skill test. Because they are going to try to... Actually, no, it would be agility. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it would be agility. Okay. Do. Oh, you Oof. failed it by negative four, but they only have a 25 in this. Um, well, okay then. They rolled a 60, so they fail by four. Uh, what is your base stat? For agility? Yes. Uh, 41. Yes, you beat them. Um, Let's so, go. Do you dash out? Or what do you do here? I take in my surroundings and just start heading forward. 
Okay, so the one that you threw to the ground looks at you and just goes, STOP! And goes to pull a pistol. You have all of your gear. Since he's on the ground, I think I have a chance of just shooting him. All right. So you pull your pistol out, and I need you to roll a shot against him. And you're getting plus 20 because he is on the ground. It's hit, yes? Yes. Half aim? Uh, You can, yes, half aim. Half aim is fine. It'll be short range? Point blank. Point blank. All right. Yeah, this guy is right next to you on the ground. Standard. There we go. Modifier was what? Uh, 20. 20. Uh, yeah, you hit him. Roll damage. I would have passed three. He has six with... So... He is very, very, very hurt, and you deal toxin damage on top of that, and the second he goes to scream at you, his lungs become filled with blood as what he tries to say just spills out, and he falls to the ground gagging and trying to breathe before he, unfortunately, meets his end. Savor your last moments. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they savored it. More like a dog with a taco. It's just gone. <laughs> to a Drakari. It just makes sense. So, let's see, we got... Uh, Ricker. I think you're the last one, correct? Yes, I believe so. Okay. So, hearing some uh, guttural sounds from the other room, as well as some footsteps, this one cracks open you like a cold one and looks inside your pod. I need you to roll awareness. All right. Um, I'm probably either lying splayed on the floor like an octopus about to be put on a hot plate or... Uh... <laughs> I love yep. it. Yep. Okay, that's what's happening. <laughs> You're just... I'll... It was either that or I was sitting... Plate. Like, on my crossed legs, trying to <laughs> whittle <laughs> I feel so my bad hand. doing this. The guy yeah. grabs your sword. Lovely. Okay. Very lost he weapons. slams the gate, and you can go ahead and roll another awareness test as you hear the gate slam, and this one is plus 20. Oh, boy. Really? You failed. You are you are out cold. We, we're a very awake and aware bunch. Yes. <laughs> the uh, optic okay. mechadendrite flip, like, lifts up a bit, and then it just rests down again. Actually, wait, you have an optical like mechadendrite? Is... Yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll say it actually uh, bumps you awake. Detecting uh, motion oh. and everything. All right. Um, slowly rise up. You see the gate closed. You hear, um, you there, stop. And um, Avalon, would you like to shoot again? I will. You see them draw a sword towards you. And it is a, it is a rather nice sword. I need to get me one of those. All right, go ahead and roll me a shot. You are in standard range, uh, short range now. Okay. Standard, wait, did you say standard or short? Short range. Short range. Type of attack, standard, modifier, still 20? Nothing. Nothing, okay. <sighs> With a 95, I think he just dove directly into it. 
Like, he's just like, they'll never see this coming and jumps right at your gun. Go ahead and roll damage. Well, again, they only have six health and that thing does have toxic one, so it does deal one poison damage. So you are going to kill him. this guy. And in his last breaths, he's just going to say, Let them out. And then he falls and gags on his own blood as he dies. Avalon walks over to him, taking the sword out of his hands. Yep, you get a sword. You see a rather strange looking creature uh, in one of the cages and it rattles it to get your attention. Yo. You there, I require your help. Another prisoner. In one sense or another, we are all prisoners. Where am I? Outside this cage. So I am, and because of that, I will expect you to give me a real answer or you're never leaving. Very well. What is the real answer you desire? Where am I? You see the crew, like, tilt its head a little bit, trying to figure out what you're asking it. You are... <clears throat> you are right there. Or are you asking your surroundings? This is to be expected with the newer races. As, Where um... is this station? And what is its name? It is in the universe. And its name is the Mad Horizon. That's all I need. He walks away. Oh. Uh. You are I'm not sorry. gonna let me out. Very well. I shall sit. <laughs> Alright. You walk down. Um, uh, go ahead. Uh, and is the gate that uh, I was like behind open, like still open? Are you unconscious or conscious? I am conscious. Uh, they took my sword and and oh no, they closed the gate. That's why I woke up. Never mind. Um, I peeked. Like open the gate. I, uh, uh, can I try to do that? There is always a way. How um, would you like will... to try to open a door? I will first, uh, use in the, uh, optical mechadendrite sort of periscope left and right, um, down the hallway, or at least, like, survey what's going on outside of the gate. Okay. Ooh. At this point, you see some if it, tall... Something I can do. You see this tall humanoid coming towards you uh, after talking with some type of bird creature. Uh. All right. Um, I try and sort of stand... Well, I stand up and sort of like... Uh, I guess dust myself off a bit sort of look and see if any uh, more parts of my body have been compromised or in need of possible repairs. Roll for me a tech use test. Alright. Self-diagnostic isn't going really well. Something is preventing it. Hmm. One of my... Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, who else is awake? Uh, that would be me. 
All right, you see a Eldari walk past, uh, walk in front of your cell. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. Hey, you. Kinsman. Where are you? Right here. Turn your head. You see them. Ah. So it wasn't alone. Perhaps one of my crew? Yes and no. Yes and no. I was on your ship, but I wasn't a crew. A prisoner? No, I was invited. Invite. Wretched crew, never tell me anything, and I, it's my ship. Can you believe it? Yes. Have you met our kin? Piracy is a difficult trade. What do you want? Well, I've been a bit of a predicament. And it seems that being a kin, we probably would have better chances together, wouldn't you agree? Also, it's more fun to be more. Is Tycona a Juborn? Yes. Ooh. Now that's an interesting question. That's an interesting question. Are they sure? I am not sure because I don't know. <laughs> then there you go. You have the look of a vat born. But considering I rather have you than this creature, I point at him with my swords. Hello. I will let you go. Uh you're gonna let me go. GM. Yes. Do I have my gear? You do. Oh sweet. All right. So uh, after a little bit of finagling, you get the you get the door open. At this point, Ricker, you can mess do... with the door. All right. Uh, I will try and just open it. Um... Okay. It opens. All right. Uh, I guess at this point I've noticed that the sword that I used to have is now being held by a humanoid. Yep. All right. Caution. That property does not belong to you. Please being return. Somewhat, within being the startled. allocated time frame. Being somewhat startled by this, turns around, points uh, his pistol at it. A machine. It is not a machine. Negative. Affirmative. Perhaps. Perhaps you may be a machine, perhaps you may not. Then what? One with the machine is a philosophical debate for later. That's quite true, that's quite true. I need the rest of you that are asleep to roll me two awareness tests to see if you're awake. That's a no. Ah. Oh, cheese. And a no. That was one hell of a punch. I am super unconscious. They are fully out. Uh, oh, I love both of you so much. Uh -oh. uh. I'm, sorry, gonna spend this session, I'm just going to spend this session one unconscious, okay? If you want, you can spend a uh, fate point to automatically wake up at this point. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, this is just... Uh, Cor, um, do you wish to do the same? Stone? Uh, stone? Yeah. Uh, during Th this... 
I think Avalon's curiosity will probably During make this, him go I will, and knock um, on the doors. Yeah. During this, I will uh, inquire further. Uh, your build is humanoid, yet unfamiliar. And your humanoid. attire is threatening. Are you never born in origin? That's an no. insult. I am not a Neverborn. I am Trueborn. Trueborn. Yeah. That would be a is huge not insult in to you. The registry. Define Trueborn. I, unlike others, have been born through natural ways, not through a vat, but to a real family. A great one. Recording. Not entirely sure how this is relevant to my question. What exactly are you? I love that you're playing a beep boofer a lot. <laughs> I am Avalon Karamas, yeah. captain of the... Oh no. The realization of the fact that the Crimson Charmer has, in fact, been blown up. Yeah, you captain. Probably should a current rank. captain. Captain rank acknowledged. Are you in need of and you shall medical never attention? Address me as humanoid again. Please provide preferred title. Captain. I'm going to interject a little bit. At this point, you just hear this blood-curling scream as Joram wakes up in his cell down the hall. What? Okay. Possible okay. emergency alerted. Naked. Where am I? Oh, yeah, you are naked. <laughs> yeah. As I hear this, I make my way down uh, towards the screams. Yeah, uh, I'll join you. Stone, are you are you there? Stone. Can somebody shoot Stone a message? Uh. Oh yeah, sorry, my mic was turned off. I'm here. <laughs> uh, did you want to spend a fate point to wake up? Yes, I did that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, in front of you, Richter and Tycona, is a naked human. Uh, is your chassis compromised? I would have never seen a tech priest before. Yeah, this I'm thing is full. I need you to roll a, wear, uh, a willpower test, actually. Honestly, this is horrifying to you. I failed. <laughs> By two. Yeah, this is your first time ever seeing a tech priest who is absolutely terrifying and some creature yeah, standing next to it that looks vaguely human. Yeah, pretty much at this point, as soon as the uh, really? Richter walks into the doorway, Jordan would just start backpedaling him in a full-blown panic attack. What? What are you? What are you? Possible psychological damage detected. Hello. Do not be alarmed. That's hard to do right now. Please stay calm in the event of an emergency. <laughs> I just, I've spent greater God knows how long dealing with I don't know what, and I wait. What is this? Uh, you're cutting in and out, just so you know. You have to oh. get a little bit closer to your mic. Sorry. Situation unknown. However, more preferable than previous events. So he getting a little bit more calmed down from uh, the monotone uh, mechanical voice. Like, look, just can 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 you just open the door for me? Little metal man? 
I can open the door for you. If he doesn't. Affirmative. And I uh, will try to open this door. The door opens right up. It turns out these people aren't too fond of locks. <laughs> locks are deficient. In need of additions or replacements. Please notify the appropriate staff. Yeah. Right. Immediately. So, um... Does anyone have to see my armor or my clothes anywhere? I'm a little uh, drafty. Why what are you kind naked? Of... Was that a crew? Was that a crew? You just see a crew staring at you. I go <laughs> run up and just hug the crew. Full it's it is behind a, a gate. I hug it through the gate. I don't care. Uh oh, it what must be your mating kind of... season. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of Apriel are you in need of? Would I be able to uh, see kind of now calm down by presence of friendly crude? Would I be able to uh, like spot my armor anywhere since it would be a distinctive kind of ochre color? You see the person, um, the one creature. Uh, wrapped up in black and uh, gray robes, uh, come around the corner holding your gear, and you notice that this is the one that was that cut itself, and you just see it like look at you, and it starts I like shivering, and then it just falls over, shaking. Uh, when I see it, I just gonna smile and start walking towards it. Are you assigned to attack Neverborns? I don't know what any of that means. I was a part of the uh, Fifth Sphere expansion. I was a uh, Shazla of uh, Joram Camp. The crew taps you on the head and just like starts patting you like a pet. I like this <laughs> one. Neverborn. Definition from the Lexiconum. Nevenborn is a warp-based entity that is acts like a living entity. However, it is not. At it is known point, for increased and violent actions that often are harmful to your body. Okay, at this point, uh, Kor, they are standing across from you. And you notice a naked human hugging a towel, uh, hugging a crute that is patting him on the head while some pale ass humanoid just walked past you to go get somebody who is shivering on the ground. And some guy with a sword just standing there. Hmm. I'll sort of. Sorry, so, uh, yeah, working up in the pod, the door's off, the... Did they shut, bother to shut the gate? In... Yours, my no. Pod is? Okay. I'll check that I still have everything. And I think the thing that was stolen from you... Oh, no, they didn't steal anything from you. You guys did get back all of your gear at this point, except for what was lost in Session Zero. Except for my sword. Well... Also, these are definitely 100% not Jawas. I want to make that clear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Save me my uh, <laughs> the recording. person who Playing. cut her hat. Now. Oh, yeah. They're, they're shivering, on. right? Uh, they are dead at this point. Oh, they're dead? Yeah. The outside of your spacecraft was poisoned. <laughs> I wish that wasn't an actual thing. But the wow. outside of their um, their aircrafts are poisoned, so oh, it only so, makes so it's sense. just so it's just dead on the ground now. Yeah, he was just that entire time just taking damage. Yeah. I'm just gonna grab it by the collar, lift it up. Well, back at be choosers, and then I just like, oh. Hey, save some of that for me. You want some? Yes. At this point, I'll go ahead and I'll open the door for the crew and then go get my uh, armor and uh, do I find my uh, weapons? Yeah, your weapon is there. All right, Enjoy I found a, a Do I find 
the crew rifle. The crew picks up the rifle and just goes, Ah, this is not mine. Uh, no, it was a, a friend of mine who saved my life with it. I, I think you might be a better use for it than I would. Honor dictates that you must have this. <clears throat> that voice is very hard to do, by the way. So the crew, sure, yeah. The crew bends his knee and yeah. hands the weapon to you. Take it. In shaky hands is, God knows how long in warp. Take the rifle and kind of yeah. crate a little close. Emotional attachments uh, yeah. to weapon. Noted. Has Jor <laughs> has Joran even seen Avalon? He has not noticed or acted like it yet. He's been a little too freaked out by Creepy <laughs> Mechanical to, Man. He's about to go from one horror to another. What about, about the other horror that's currently now just drinking blood from a corpse? In? Yeah. At, at this one point, second, one second. Stone, go ahead. At this point, yeah, uh, Kor's gonna step out into the hallway nervously and take stock of everyone. Uh... I immediately turn. Tech priest detected. Scanning. For possible identity. Uh, would I mayhaps have any idea of who uh, Core might be or is connected to? Um, I guess I have to roll a tech use. Do you have anything that lets you can... Uh, connect to the neurosphere. Not anymore. Then you cannot. Or it, yeah, I guess the closest would have been I would have to have connected myself to a cogitator or something. Yep. Back at Resistance HQ. I'm... Unable to gain connection. Please try again at a later time. I'm. Did I have a get informed of, like, or figure out what Explorator Fleet has attached to? You did at some point. Okay. But you don't even know where you are or how many years have passed. All you yeah. know is you have this gaggle in front of you. Yeah, I... Because, yeah, my last real proper, like, coherent memories are, like, reaching out to take a glass, aren't they? Yeah. And then waking up in a hospital, blinking your eyes, seeing people operate on you, then seeing something completely different, and then waking up in a vacuum of space before screaming and passing out again and waking up here. Yeah. I am... Core Virilian, assigned to... recently assigned to exploratory duties. And you all are? Corvirillion. Name saved. Name of person, Richter Vakhide. Providing medical attention. Um, I'm Joram Kemp, the uh, Shazla, the Tau, Greater Good. Are y'all drones? He says, pointing at both the uh, tech priests. Drones would... are deemed heretical according to lexiconum data. Unless they are not true AI. So, y'all aren't drones. I had probably be a lot more visibly human than Richter. Well, again, I've, uh, Jorm had never seen a tech priest or anyone with that level of cybernetics before. Yeah, okay. Unlikely <laughs> to be a drone by my or your definition. I love all of this. Okay, <laughs> um, Jorm will then turn and for the first time actually see the two, uh, Drakari Real quick, and... how tall is Avalon? How tall is Joran? Joran is five foot five. 
Avalon is quite lanky. So would you say, um, so let's see, you're like six foot normally. Would he be like a head taller than you? I would say that Avalon is probably at least two meters. Yeah, so six foot. Like six oh, two, wait, six three. That's, 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 that's not six foot. <laughs> that's a bit I'm, more than six foot. But I, two I'm, meters, one meter is three point like two inches. And I'm six. I'm six foot two in real life. Yeah, I'd say he's like six even... five, six six. Then. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, my character is. Uh, wait, what did I write? It's kind of a yeah, bit. Yeah, six meme. five. Uh, yeah, thank you. My character is two hundred and five point six seven eight four five. Give or take ten centimeters. Shall I translate that to Imperial? Before any of that, Joran, you turn around. You see I try Avalon. And I... Uh oh. Tall? Oh. Um, yes. What else can you describe of me? Quite imposing. menacing at first glance, but, um,. Wait a second. You were, were you captain of the ship that attacked mine? Or on it? Why thank you for knowing my true <laughs> identity. Yes, I am Captain Avalon Karamas of the Crimson Charmer. He says quite proudly. At, at this point, Joram, Joram's a little more shaky and his pe face goes pale as he's remembering the last thing he sees is that ship getting uh, hit by his own as they both get sucked in the warp. Um, um, I'm gonna slowly back away up to the crew and try to cower a little bit behind him. Do you need a hand? And the crew puts a hand up to you. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Okay. Do not be alarmed. Individual uh, is apparently not never born, which has increased chances of not dying from horrific death by 12%. I don't know what you're saying, but um, we'll get back around to that. What is what what are, what, are, what is that? Points to a uh. uh Takora, Takora is gonna like start licking her fingers like mm, that was good. Oh, did you Tychora. want some? I'm Takora. Nice to meet you all. Greetings, Takora. Are you perhaps never born? I actually don't know. Never Do really you cared. Require a definition. No. Noted. I'm gonna like hand the that treater like to the crude. Like, did you want some? The crude has uh, taken a few of its digits and then thrown it to the side. Ah, it lacks Nutrition. evolutionary traits. Nutrition okay. is important. Enjoy okay, um, your meal. I, you. I, I don't. I don't want to really interrupt what's going on here, but what the what happened? Last, what happened? Where are we? <clears throat> Who are you people? Uh, Location last, unknown. The last thing I remember is like the good captain over there ramming his ship into a different ship. It is yeah. thanks to your hardly functioning technology that we are even here to begin with. Internal processors compromised. Unable to effectively assist at full capacity. Please find roadside assistance. <laughs> so, uh, it's so oh, good. DPS. I love this character. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is the best. 
Oh my god! <laughs> at this point, um, you see the doors at the end of the hallway open up. You see yep. a rather uh, gray-looking individual, gray-skinned, with a dark black cloak and red paneled armor underneath it. It looks thrown together, but eh, looks like armor. As soon as the door comes open, my rifle would have been up in my hands aiming at the door. Complexion Not... appears evident of lack of vitamin D. Y'all need rescuing? Uh, if you're offered, yeah. Likely. Uh, and preferable to evacuate the premises. Do you know where we are? Ah. Please oh, uh, follow uh, the exit uh, signs. Wait, uh, Tycona, uh, do you speak low gothic? Oh, no. I do. Okay, I so you've been using gothic. the translator to talk. Yes. I did not. Stop. What uh? What all happened here? We, well, we woke up. Well, I woke up and apparently, uh, we... you're too far away from your mic. I, uh, I woke up and apparently, the fleeced down by some individuals. Three fatalities recorded. Ah, uh, well, you can add another seven to that. Brando. Uh, Fort nearest moratorium. You guys part of the guild or gang? Define uh, guild. guild. What? The guild around these parts. Uh, I just woke up naked in a cell. I don't think I'm part of a guild. Look, I don't need to know what you guys are doing in here. Fruit tells oh, yeah. me you were breeding. That's your call. You needed to know if you needed rescuing. Jordan would start going, uh, blushing as he's kind of just tries to shrink a little bit. Reproduction between human and Xenos seems unlikely given anatomical differences. However, this might be contradicted by further research. Thank you, drone person. Can you stop saying that? <laughs> Affirmative. However, drone person may be derogatory. Well, we'll see. Anyways, you said something about rescuing. Yeah, looks like your gaggle needs some saving. Chop up another rescue for the guild. Come on. Thank you for your assistance. What do you mean by guild? Uh, a guild. I don't know if the guild is. Define guild. Like I said, I woke up in a cell just a few minutes ago. I have no idea what anything is. Uh, that's a lot of a It defined recorded message. The guild. And recording. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. This is the greatest character ever. This is the best. I, I gotta check if I gave the guild a name, actually. Oh, yeah. It's the, it's the name of this entire adventure. Ah. The Carousel Guild. Noted. However, Carousel Guild does not appear on any registry within my database. Or cogitators. Uh, you're Please one of them, provide... Uh, you're one of them techie boys, right? Affirmative. Happy to provide biomechanical, medical, and electrical assistance, as well as other related fields. Can uh, Avalon jump in? Yes. For forgive uh, the machine. Yes, we Shall are of I the guild. Shall I log a dental appointment? Ah, you're from the guild. I didn't yes, expect, we uh... cry. 
We require immediate help. Uh, uh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, always help a fellow guild member. Uh, I've never seen your kin around here, but, you know, I ain't one to push a guild member away. <clears throat> uh, what family are you with? <clears throat> I consider all of these with me a family. Orphaned at young age. Yeah. Yeah, you know, um, that's the right thinking of the carousel. Right there. Right exactly, there. You know brother. what? <laughs> I can get behind that. You know what? First drinks on me. Come on. Affirmative. Uh, yeah. oh. I Please give the follow. group a look and just Be... go with this. Affirmative. Yeah. Please follow the exit signs. I have no absolute idea what the hell just happened, but you know what? Y'all the first ones that not either punch me, steal me, or try to kill me, so I'm coming with y'all. If we Can wish to survive, come? we must work together. Yes, you're coming too. Could not I say it better it. myself. And the crew comes walking along the entire time hugging the Tau. Because he doesn't know what that gesture means. <laughs> <laughs> Again, in this environment, Jerome would be okay with that. Because he is now new emotional support. Yeah. So you got hit by... By those little ones, didn't you? Yeah, smart yes, little... it was quite brutal. Smart little buggers. He's the buggers. Yeah, you know... At first, we didn't believe that there were grots and hoods. Did not believe it. No. I mean, they kind of remind me of uh, they kind of remind me of another uh, species in the greater good. I mean, I mean, obviously they're like the the Javas. Scanning recollection of grots. Remembered grots. Yeah. Data compromised. You gotta look out for these little bastards. They built these tractor beams all around here, and if you ain't a part of here, they tend to just try to steal you out of space. They mostly steal junk and, uh, random things out of the galaxy that they think are nice and shiny. You know, pull them in, sell it at the market. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Noted. Can't be too mad at them, Add they're, they're little ones. Noted. Adding this to recorded robberies that I have been a victim of. In all fairness, they're not thieves. They they just take things that they believe have no owners, and typically, they follow the guild's protocols for as much as they can read. Much, but you know they try. Bless their little hearts. Retracting number from record, then. So, where, where exactly is here? I mean, if you think about it, you can't steal from a dead person. They don't own it anymore, so that's That the... is quite right, yes. Yeah, see, you get it, and he, like, pats you on the back. You must be resourceful at all times. Make do with what you have. Ah, uh, see? You guys know what's up. But, like, it's like I... It's skilled thinking. Yeah, it is. It is. Although, if it does belong to a guild member, we tend to give it back. Yeah, you have to. It's only fair. Charity noted. As you go to leave, you see two grots just sitting there on um, a stool and one sitting on its shoulders with an overcoat on them. Greetings, hmm. small creatures. <laughs> Are you never born? God. <laughs> are we born? Wait. No, we we are born because we have birthdays. Birthdays imply born. We are born every year. Noted. Result never born equals negative. Have a nice day. Yes, yes. And you just see the two little ones like try to zip up the jacket and try to like walk into the bar. Well, dress these individual. Hey, hey, hang on. Watch this. Watch this. It will make it three steps. 
All right, I'm gonna roll balance for a grot. <laughs> uh, an 84. One, two, face plant. <laughs> Try again next time. You'll get it. Got faith in you. Do they be doing this often? Uh, at least six times a day. It never gets old, though. Always try something oh, they new. require medical attention. No, no, no. The guild needs determination like this. Yeah. <laughs> so as uh, as we're walking, being led through the station, I'm I'm gonna walk up to uh, Avalon, just kind of try to get his attention. Like, um, ca Captain, just no no hard feelings or anything, but uh, were you responsible for the? Weird, flickering, demon-looking things on our ship. No, that was your incompetent technology. Um, I I have no idea what those actually were. Um, but so. Oh, you never seen them? No, I no, I've never have. Avalanche just gives uh. Good chuckle and uh, keeps walking. Fifty-five percent chance entities observed by human were likely never born. Ne never, never born. What? What does that mean? I've, you've said it several times. I have no idea what you actually mean by it. Perhaps referencing a thesaurus may help. Other titles include demon, if that may help. Sorry, did you say? Demon? <laughs> De Demons aren't real. Demons yes, they don't are. exist. They don't, they're not real. <laughs> Affirmative. Uh, hey, 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 mm. hey, hey. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No talking of that. No talking of that. Retac retracted statement. What? We don't wish to like, disturb the page. Tales in, 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 old, in old human tales? They're not real. That could they, could have been demons. They, they saw my ship. You just, uh, the, the rather, uh, gray gentleman opens the door and inside you see dozens of humanoids, uh, some with mutations, some ogren, some weird looking creatures, as well as a few other crew sitting at this bar. And this bar is massive. Ah, now Too I many. said, first drink on me. For you. Human. Transformative and reconstructive surgeries may be required for some individuals present. <laughs> uh, God damn mm. it. This is great. Yeah. Yes. Nervously enter the bar. Welcome to the Mad Horizon. Here Quite you can name. find everything you need. You need money. You can find yourself a job. You need alcohol. You can find yourself some alcohol. You need ass. Find yourself some ass. You need companionship. Need well got that short supply we need of so, repairs so, so there's plenty of i would assume you meant uh nightly pleasures but there's no companionship do you require a companion <laughs> again joram just immediately starts to blush and just kind of no no i'm good just asking for clarification very well. These people smell like they breed a lot. Do you I have... Excuse myself. And you see the crew just you... walk away. Do you have resources for adequate repairs? Eh. Ah. Why, what do you need? General repairs. And I just lift up whatever I can uh, mm. body compromised 
Yeah, looks like they did a number on you. Nah, I ain't got nothing for that. But, you know, you explore around, you can probably find some. Anyway, Captain, how about that drink? Oh, I would love to. I'll also take a drink. I need something to help with things. Yes. I will prepare intake mechanisms. I'd also take like a drink. Alright, one bottle for this table. So, he sits down with you, um, starts uh, giving you guys a few shots each, and this alcohol, I have a list for this. I like using my list, because I am a jerk. Small megadendrite straw extends out oh, from, boy. like, just under this broken respirator and into the shot glass. Um, that is uh, how I intake liquids. <laughs> Pretty much Jordan would throw one back and just kind of... This is not like the, like the stuff we got back at home. This is... Is this engine cleaner? Uh, this will put... Uh... Uh, this will take the the grease off of your treads. You get my meaning. Put some hair on your chest. Analyzing substance. It will put the shot glass Toxin down and push levels. the others away from him. Um, yeah. Toxin levels cool. at satisfactory low percentage. Not enough to cause grievous fatal injury to internal mechanisms. I mean, it's possible. Yeah, to the Unless two... it goes in long term. To the two yeah. Ducari, it doesn't taste that dis different than a normal drink. But go ahead, Stone. Uh, yeah, uh, Cole will definitely, jittering leg, nervously glancing around, definitely be uh, enthusiastically <laughs> drinking. Is your leg experiencing some sort of malfunction no just a lot happening noted psychological effects still looking up your chart yeah i couldn't find it my bad they possibly compromised <laughs> So Avalon just having I... Go ahead. Avalon now being fully calm after all of this. Uh looks at this uh stranger. So tell me a little about yourself. Ain't much to really tell. Born here, raised here, joined the guild. And how long have you been in the guild? Oh, probably near three centuries. Ah, a true regular then. Hey, you get used to it after a while. See one war, you see them all. I quite agree. We too live for quite long. Time just... I've been meaning to ask you about that. Faster. Have you one of them, uh, Drew Carries, right? Yes, indeed. Drew Carey, and yes. Ah, uh, sorry, my accent messed that up. My apologies. No offense taken. But yes, I am a Term Drew Carey. Drew Carey. This is a mockery of a Drew Carey, and I point at Tycona. What do you mean? Well, you still haven't confirmed that you're a trooper or not. I'll have you know that I have had uh, the finest uh... of births. <laughs> All right. uh, I like slick, take a bit of the blood and like, hmm. yep. Uh, what was I getting the name on it? Himo, Himo, Himo. himo. Ah! Himo, cut this, no? 
I don't know those names again. Look, I don't mean to pry, but your personal business is your personal business. Now, I do have a few questions for you, because I ain't seen you here much. Are you from one of the neighboring stars or neighboring planets? Unknown. Stars. 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 You made it through. Yes, but, uh, as you can see, we, uh, we ran through a little bit of... Yeah, we sent many a vessel to try to get through these... The sucker dicks maledictum. No. Quite right. The, uh, the sick of tricks maledictum. No, that's not right. What is the name of it? It's the, the great rip in the sky. I'm trying um, to record instances of great rip in the sky. Unable to find information. Uh, all you have to do gonna... is look up. Jorm just kind of raises his hand to the table and just, um, yeah, um, I have no idea what any of that is, um, I'm, I'm just, y'all have to know where, a uh, a uh, uh, Tau is, or Tau is so much calling it now, or just the, 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 the Tau Empire? Oh, you don't, look don't listen, don't listen to him, he is, uh, he hit his head on impact. Ah, uh, yeah. Still getting that little bit of delusionalness out of them, you know. Yes. Those escape pods only have a certain amount of air in them. Once they run out, you go a little bit mad. Oh, trust me. Is, my eyes like, are still spinning after this ride. But I, I, I like very... your name for the Great Rift. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, what were you saying, Kiko? I just, just say Jorm's wearing his, like, Tau armor with the, like, Tau symbol blazing on the chest, a large pauldron on his left shoulder blazing with it. It's like, um, I am most certainly have no idea what they're talking about, but, um, look, I, I've never seen this many humans before, and what, what, what sept are y'all from? I... I, uh, what does he mean? elbow bump him, just like... What? I'm just... Come on. What? Fine. Fine. Don't talk nonsense. Yeah, I, I, I hit my head on the way in. I'm all having a mental breakdown of delusion. Homeworld. Uh, yeah. Yes. That Redacted. happens. From... Monkai are very delusional. Homeworld Indeed. redacted from records. Due to... Information redacted from noted previous conversation. So anyway, you guys here on guild business, if I recall correctly, right? Well, sort of. We uh, we ran into some issues, and now we're really just here. Really just here. In the moment. In the moment. In this bar. In this bar. That is where you are. Yeah. So you guys have like no plan, no backup plan, and no ship. No. No. Sadly, our uh, our ship sort of exploded. Life's too short for plans, really. Live in the moment. It's much more fun. Right. You guys, uh... You guys don't have anywhere to sleep, do ya? Yeah, people say we do. Yes. Oh, you do? Okay, good. About to offer you something, but you guys are good. No, I think you misunderstand. We do not. We are... without a plan, without a place, with only parts of exploded ship. Wow. Have a to recharge. The past. Unavailable. I will say with slight anger. Still thinking about my ship. Still thinking about all the tau I had to shoot to get out of that ship. Right then. 
Ah. Guild would look not look kindly on me if I uh, didn't help. So uh, I'll tell you what. This is what I'll do. Yeah, come here. And he gets up. He walks over to the bartender, points to uh, something on the wall. She moves it aside, presses a button, opens a thing, and then she grabs Oop. a key, closes it. And this is room 19. Uh, sheets might not be clean, but you can take it. And Sanitation I... levels low. You can take it for the next three days. All I can give it for. That'll be just enough. Thank you. Right. So, what you need to do is you need to go down the alley over here, climb up the grate right there, head down this way. Then, when you see the weird creature stapled to the wall, we're not sure what it is, but it's been there for a while. Kind of call it Jerry. Anyway, when you see Jerry, just take a left. Three doors down. So, left of, left of the Jerry, three doors down. Yeah. Guys, got it. I don't, think I, I don't think I do, but all right. Thank you. Uh, I don't think I've caught your name, though. You see the person finish his drink, and he just goes, My name is Do." Do. Do. Well, do. I think this is a good time for us to finally get our belongings together. Thank you, do. Yeah. If you need anything, have any questions. Yeah, yes, I'll... we'll do. Shut the door. Well, no, no, no. You, <laughs> guys are, you guys are at the bar right now. You'd be leaving. Oh, I thought, I thought we were there. Oh, sorry. No, so he's just sitting there. He just goes, oh, if you have any questions, I'll be here. Keep watch. And you just see him drinking and leaning back in the chair. Yep. Guild work. <laughs> so are, are we going to go to our rooms or? You have one room. Yeah, I was about to say, I get the feeling it's one singular. One for... One, two, three, four, five, six of us. There should only be five of you. Well, I'm not leaving our crew, friend. He no, already pulled it off. He's hanging out with the other crew. Oh, okay. If you love something, it's better to let it go. I still haven't forgiven you for blowing up my ship. I haven't forgiven you for... Your shoddy technology. Clearly with no idea what to Sorry, say. Sorry, I'm not an Earthcast, okay? Look, that was an experimental yellow field, I think it was. We, we, I've, nev I've never even heard of that before until literally I get on the ship and the, my, my Shazui tells me that. And both of yes. you ruined my nice sleep. It was like a nice nap. So I assume you guys are talking as you're heading up to the room. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Down the hall, up the grate, take a right, left of Jerry, three doors down. So, as you guys approach Jerry while you're still talking, you see the servitor that's like half stuck, half fused with the wall itself look at you, blurt something out in binary, try to grab at you, and then yeah. just go back to sleep. Salutations. Individual, you must be Jerry. So... So I'm I'm gonna go on a limb here and say, this we 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 must be in the uh, uh, Imperium I've heard about the Imperium of Man. Uh, well, so, so may I ask, um, are me and Stone able to speak in binary? Not yet. At this moment. Ah, okay. Never mind. Hmm. So I have no idea what this thing blurted out. You can, however, roll with, um, oh god, hang on, what skills, I just have yours up here. You could roll a common lore adeptus mechanicus to translate it. No oh boy, mm. may as well. 
No. <laughs> yeah, I recognize that dialect binary. Well, that's... It's I would, uh... Yeah, you can do it as well. My yeah. first decent roll? <laughs> yeah, you did it. Yay. I have no idea what it said. So this thing blurts out in binary, and only Kor hears it. And quickly translates it in her head. And it just says... You need to get out of here. They're coming. All I hear is just static. Does it translate that you did work in binary? Well, that's up to Avalon to decide if he has it on or not. I... I have mine have on. It. Yep, so it is on. Yeah. And so after a little bit, you hit... You uh, look at your translator, and it says that. Do they know? I hmm. told you, Joran, not to ramble about such things as the Tao Empire. Sorry, I still don't know what the hell y'all, any of y'all are, where we are, what this is. To survive, we must keep up the lie. And as you do well, that, you open the door and you see one bed. <laughs> somehow, I'm definitely, I'm, somehow I'm not surprised by that. Uh, I think, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to answer Joran's previous question about the Imperium. Probably not in the Imperium. There are lots of casuals in us. So... Region likely compromised. Yeah, uh, so... Look, I... This is my first time on an expedition. This is the first time off my, my home planet, so I have no idea. Okay, so are we yes. finally in privates? Uh, so as you walk into the very, very, very tight room, think college dorm room in America tight, or New York-style apartments tight. That's pretty tight. Yay, yeah, nice and cozy. Nice 10 by 10 room. Uh, you're lucky that it's 10 by 10. The <laughs> As you walk in, the bed is up against the wall. You can see a big-ass roach just crawling across it. And I'm talking like a 3-inch roach. But this thing is grody. Mm -hmm. And you shut the door behind you. Okay. Now that this is all over, and before they arrive, let's get to know each other. Affirmative. Massive glee on my face. Team building exercises are great for morale. Red eyes. Yes. Tell me about you and your group having no idea what uh this is the right word for um his cast or whatever he is wait so who's that directed at was that directed at a uh, Jorm or red, red eyes so Rick Ricker ah okay there are two red eyes there. Yeah, that's why I was confused too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Stone red four up. eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the two of the tech priests also like, yes? No. <laughs> Avalon is going to treat uh, Ricker like just a data sheet. <laughs> Gonna ask him questions. Oh. So tell me. Yes. I asked you a question. Describe where you come from, what you do. Planet Origin was corrupted by Neverborns, aka demons, and seized by said individuals. 
resistance group loyal to the Omnisire and Emperor of Mankind was established. I partook as a tech and medical assistant for support of the movement Unfortunately, uh, said movement has largely been quelched, and only 1.2225% of the population of said movement is left. Okay, From this last... explains a lot, I think. And are you two the same? May you please reframe the question, unable to process. The two of you, machines, or not machines, so see there is an amalgamation. Uh, you, you two drone people. While our loyalty to the Adeptus Mechanicus is both the same, I am unable to determine what the prime function of the other tech priest is. I... mostly just study training. Logged academic. I ended up here because things went I don't know how I ended up here, but things went sideways last I was aware. Sideways is a interesting way for things to go. So what what about y'all two turning out pointing at the captain and the vampire? Y'all are extra unsettling. I mean these as they mentioned, are Jukari, aka Dark Eldar, aka really scary individuals. Yeah, I, I can I can see that. They are yeah. fortunately not very fond of Neverborns, considering their chances of having their souls consumed. Look, I is a major see you are confused. Just ask anything. Same question. How'd y'all get here and where are y'all from? I'm around, originally. Oh, I've been around. To all over the place. But originally, I am from Kamora, as Tycona says. All over the place is not a recognized location on any form of mapping. It, it means we he travels a lot. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what what's with all the box and point and pointy bits? Oh, do you like them? Um, I am quite fond of them. I am very unsettled. Yes. It is you are unsettled. It Clearly is apparently the case that Jukari tend to inflict grievous harm upon individuals. The is exact useful. reason is currently unavailable. Please try again at a later date. Oh, uh... It brings us great pleasure to do it. I'm not so, sure if this is a valid I'm, response. I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna sleep in the corner, note to self. Stay away from everyone. Don't let the creature bite you. I, I'm pointing at the roach. I think I'd rather deal with that than other things. Quick, roll dodge. Eh, where is it? Under skills. Got it. Uh, may I, I roll to oh. see 
if it's carrying any diseases in Medicaid. <laughs> you know what? I yes. failed. I failed horribly. <laughs> you cannot uh, tell. Individual Ether has negative five or twenty-seven infectious diseases that may be transmissible to humans. I'll look down, see it halfway up my leg, just. No, it's on your down. chest, and I'm gonna roll damage because it is attacking you. Data inconclusive. The <laughs> roach. All right, I gotta check your stats really quickly. Um. Optic receptors compromised. This thing gets right around your armor and bites at your chest. It deals one point of damage. You know what? I will go ahead and just do it. Can I use my last fate point to just swat it off my chest in a panic? You could reroll the test, but it is a bit too late. Okay, you would I'll have to it. attack it back. I I will. Or I will go anybody to, else can attack it back. I will go to swat it off my chest. All right, roll a uh, weapon skill test. How many health points does uh, Giko have? All right, you hit it. Roll. Um. Oh God, I forgot how to roll punch damage. Hang on, let me check. I think it's just your strength modifier. Yeah, I think it is. It should be a three then. Okay, you hit it for three. It has a total of... Ah, it is dead. You punch the thing in the head and this rad roach hits the ground and dies instantly. Everyone's moments you squish a fly with your finger and you kind of squish and just splurts over your hand. No! Kind of like that. I swat it on my chest and you kind of pancake it. <laughs> May Truly, I this fight was you. equal to the ones in the gladiatorial pits of Kamora. May I observe for possible hull breach? Ooh, I missed those. Those were fun. <laughs> Is your <laughs> hull compromised? I'm just gonna wipe goo off of me. <laughs> Uh, so, I will roll on Medicare to see how bad the bite is. Alright, go ahead. Um, it's plus 20. Oh, god you damn still it. fail? Oh, wait, no, I didn't do the plus 20, so should I reroll or...? Uh, it would just be, uh, minus, uh, 3 instead, at plus 20. Uh, Alright. Go ahead, Stone. Um, what does the rest of this room look like? So, in the corner of the room, there is a bed that takes up the vast majority of the space in the room itself. There is a tiny, maybe working refrigerator of some sort, with a grill directly on top of it that only has one burner. And there are cupboards that are hanging doors off of them. Hmm. And they thought my space was messy. Well, I mean, my space was a mess. <laughs> I'm spiting that back. <laughs> Observed more unsanitary conditions before. This is acceptable for sustaining human life. That's so, true. Human. Life. So roughly, like, what time of the uh, day cycle is it? Okay, that is a good question. It is currently 8 p.m. at night. Uh, that would be you, 20. You, you know what? I've been through quite a lot in recent moments. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of go slightly catatonic, standing in the corner. Just okay. Kinda, George kind of backs into the corner and just hugs his rifle to him and just kind of leans back as he just head nods forward and he, he's out. Walter well, sleep fast, doesn't he? Mm. I wish I could do that. As Dukari, you don't really need to sleep. Yeah, that's why I'm saying I wish I could do that. <laughs>
I mean, this is why I take fake naps. They're nice. Recharging may be optimal. And I guess I just slump over and do the closest, I guess, an equivalent would be to resting. Okay. Is anybody else going to take a rest at this point? Um... Avalon is just going to sit around and admire his new sword. Oh, there's also a radio I'm... in the room. Yeah. I'm probably going to be way too nervous. I'm going to, to investigate the radio. Whoop, let's um, finish. Yeah. I'm probably, I'm definitely going to be way too nervous to sleep while the two Dracaria up and about and poking things. Mm. Alright, um, fair. Hearing that there is a radio, I am going to investigate it. Um, or like, look or poke a prod at it, I guess. You know, like, see what I can do or tune it to. This is the most standard radio that you've ever seen. It's in disrepair, filled with some type of insect, but it is a, it is a standard radio. Is it working? Do you want to turn it on? Yes. Roll me a tech use test. <laughs> hey! You press the buttons and uh, you hit a few switchy thingies. And as you do, it bursts into flames, and the flames quickly snuff out all of the insects inside it. it I is... like this music. <laughs> Reminds you of home, doesn't it? With a quick mm. pat down, you can put it out with no damage. This appears to not be the primary function. Um... So is it gonna just work now, or...? No, it's it's in flames. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I guess I'll pat it out then, try to extinguish the fire. Alright, and you do. Yeah. Radio. Uh, now do we have a working radio? No, it has burnt itself to the core. Oh, great. So have you ever Lovely. seen a computer catch on fire because the interior of it was just filled with bugs? Yep. Yes. No! <laughs> yeah, that. You can look that up on YouTube.com. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> so so at, at the rather pungent smell of burning insects, I'll jolt away and just kind of look over and see him tinker at the radio and just like... I... I can help with that. I'm pretty good with tech. I think we should. I'm sure that this can be recovered. Perhaps best to salvage. I'll go, uh... Can I go and take a, take a crack at it? It is literally... Was literally on fire. It is destroyed. So I can't just take it apart and put it... Like, clean it off, put it back together? No. I would assume any copper wiring and any, like, such thing would be burnt and, like, singed. So, yeah. Oh. It's Avalon uh, slaps Jordan's hand as he's trying to fiddle with the radio. I think we should take heed of the warning we got for arriving here. You got me. Damn. Yeah. Uh, that's a very serious thing. I need you to roll toughness. It was just a little smack. He said it cut him. Yeah. It was like a scratch. Which uh, is not a safe thing. Uh-oh. Oh, no. He pissed five. through his armor enough, I guess. Am I wearing <laughs> that sharp like gauntlets? How strong are you? You're Drukari. Of course you're wearing really strong stuff. Like, sharp stuff. Uh, of course. Strong am I, or...? Yeah, how strong are you? Uh, strength is at 35. Oh. Okay, your armor holds up, and it's just a slight scratch. But you feel it burn for a second. God, that, you kind of screwed up. Oh my god, it's burning! Yeah, uh, maybe yes, we should mention that, that uh, we like 
poisons and toxins a lot. And we kind of coat uh, everything with it. Which is very interesting. Don't be However, alarmed. we got a warning. Don't be yes. alarmed. It is only a minor prick. Yeah, it's a minor prick and it feels like my arm's on fire. Would you like a no, trunk? trunk? Unable to provide any form of assistance to pain. Just put your hand in the uh, refrigerator. I'm not opening that thing. Considering what else we found in this room. Um, Complimentary while they're doing insects. this, uh, is there anything I can like take out from the radio, like a magnet or bits and scrap? Do you wish to break open the radio? I mean, it's broken. That it's just sure. Okay, as you crack it open, uh, at least a d actually. Let me let me roll. How many uh, pop out of it? Eighteen cooked roaches fall out of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh look, snacks. Anything else? Yeah, there is a there is a uh, circuit board inside it, so it does contain a magnet. I will uh, uh, keep the circuit board, um, and I'll assume all the wires are like burnt. The wires are melted. You. Yeah. All right. Uh, there you go. Alrighty, so just to give you some idea of what you can do at this point, you know that back in the bar itself, uh, there is... Uh, somebody might also want to add those roaches to their inventory because you guys don't have food. Yes, yes. By the sounds of it, Tycona already grabbed them all up. Yes! <laughs> Alright then, that's perfect. Make sure you add those to your inventory. There's 18 They're all... There's 18, sweet! <laughs> Just so you know, these roaches are big. They're almost big enough to count as a ration. <laughs> That's even better. Like, I would say two of them is a ration. Like, like, so right. we have nine rations now? Essentially, a roach meat. Now, you know Ooh. down in the bar that there are certain things you can do to gather some money, so maybe you can uh, look towards getting a better place or you can get out of here this game is entirely dependent on you and that's it i am here to just run this game but it is your story okay well uh, as soon as my arm stops being feeling like it's on fire i would think uh takes five I'm minutes Okay. Yeah. Okay, note to self, don't touch the spiky ones. You should um, get some I'd, spikes of your own. I, I think we should go back out of the bar and kind of mingle a bit, see if we can figure out anything. That is I, a great idea. Here's a good idea. So we'll make our way back to the bar, out the door, three doors to the right, right at Jim, down the grade to the left. As you pass Jim, he once again reaches out and says, They're coming! Nice to meet you too, Jim. Have a nice day. Are you a Neverborn, Jim? Are you a... no, no. <laughs> <laughs> The thing just repeats the automated message. <laughs> yeah. Interpretation as negative. So, so is that kind of like static at first? Is that Imperial drone speak? It is communicating through a binary. Or yes, code. it is a holy language way beyond your brain's comprehension. Oh, so unfortunately. It's like, Y'all use the same configuration like zeros and ones and multiples? <gasps> that is a very outdated method. Beyond there the brain are of many mankind. personalized calculations that you could not grasp. Unfortunately, my 
personal binary integrations have been compromised along with approximately 47% of implants and improvements. Please seek repairs as soon as possible. Avalon, uh, being rather paranoid, uh, walks with his right hand stiff, ready for his um, splinter pistol as he's uh, following the rest of the group. Okay, so you make it down the hall with little to no incident. You bump into an ogren by the stairs, and it just looks at you and goes, oh, pardon me, gentlemen, and walks past you. <laughs> Avalon he, bows. He, 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 was like also, he was also really, really big. Um, yes. Definition. Okay. Ogren. Large mutant abhumans who serve the Imperium. I've seen bigger. They're bigger? Oh, yes. Larger individual humanoids have been known to exist through a variety of means and methods. Okay, so, um, <gasps> bigger. Got it. Oh, the poor cow. The world was being shattered. It really does feel like we kidnapped <laughs> Yeah. We kidnapped we a child. I want, yeah. <laughs> like, welcome to hell. Oh, oh no. I'm the only one in character who doesn't know any of this. I'm also the only American here, so I feel extra gang up, Don. Wait, you're not the only <laughs> American? You're in Iceland now. You don't count. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> Excised from Freedomville. Oh. No. No, uh, my so Merca is... mobile got taken away. <laughs> anyway. So what is going on uh, down here in yeah. this establishment? So as you look towards each of the varying tables, you note that some of them even have hollow bits on them, though it is very, very, very archaic versions of them. They can only do like 2D images instead of full three-dimensional images that the tech priests are used to. You note that a lot of them are mingling in different languages, different dialects from all across the known space. You see a plethora of different types of aliens, abhumans, subhumans, mutants, as well as just your average, everyday, normal-looking Amer uh, Americans. <laughs> Americans! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Honestly. It's America confirmed. <laughs> Average imperial citizens. I almost said American citizens. <laughs> Are you calling them bad? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Maybe. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Um. Yeah. As you as you come down, um, they're all just mingling amongst themselves. Avalon. Uh... Okay being taller than the rest of the group uh, is going to try to look over everyone and uh, try to spot Do. Yeah, Do is there. He's sitting at a table with a woman who looks uh, rather, uh, to say distressed, is an understatement. Mm -hmm. Well, Do is there if we uh, need his assistance again. Distressed individual identified, perhaps in need of assistance. If you go, I'll follow you. Oh, non imperial citizens. Okay, sorry. It is just citizens that are human. My apologies, chat. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is outside the Imperium, so I gotta be careful with that. Yeah. Well, um, nah. I assume we are. Y'all the only faces the I table. recognize, so I'll follow y'all as well. Yep. I'm just here for the fun. <laughs> so, you see the woman, and she is crying slightly. And she looks up worried and terrified for a second at the sight of your group. And then looks back towards uh, Do, and Do is just like, ah, they all right. It looks spooky. We appear to be getting this 
more frequently than usual. I mean, have, have y'all seen y'all? Y'all are absolutely horrifying. Thank you. Oh, that's <laughs> so nice of you to tell you. Tell us. We should really get you some spikes on your armor. I am mm, unable some to stunts. understand uh. how you interpret this as horrifying. And I uh, gesture to uh, me and Stone respectfully. Or uh, Core, I should say, respectfully. Aight, aight, aight. With the they... optical mechadendrite. Where did they, uh, where did they go? They, uh, they left on a shuttle. I'm not sure where, but if that thing is separated too long, they... Yeah, yeah. oh, it's all right. It's all right. I understand. Go a little bit berserk. Look, I need you to settle down. Get me a full description of this. We'll talk to our cartographer. She'll help you out. We'll find this individual. Now, can you describe them for me? And, uh, maybe my friends here can help you out. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Salutations. Uh, oh. Um, yes, uh. The, the, um. My, uh. My, um. Uh. Son? Uh, uh, friend? Uh. My ogren is, uh, was taken. Um, he's around nine and a half foot tall. Uh, big build. Uh, one cybernetic arm. Uh, typically wears yellow overalls. Uh, he's not the brightest, but, uh, he is very, um... Very much, uh... Talkative? Uh, no. Uh, he's very much a, uh... Oh, uh he hasn't left the nest yet. So to speak. Oh, he's a mama's boy. Yes. <laughs> he's probably really scared. You do not be uh... alarmed. Ain't that the gentleman we saw on the way here? No, it isn't. No, di different. He wasn't yellow. Yeah, they, ah, and that guy was... didn't have a missing arm. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I would notice. I would know if there was a missing arm. <laughs> You'd be looking for a new one. Yeah, Wait, possible oh, yeah. salvage. Organ and That's limb donations uh, to the righteous cause in um, timely uh, deaths, you know? Ah! No, my gay bacon! Oh no. Did you say gay bacon? Yes, gay bacon. Oh. Yeah, I thought you either said gay bacon or gibbon. Like anyway. you were trying to pronounce gibbon. I was like, why do you have a monkey with you? Why don't you? I guess anyway. Ape. That's true. <laughs> So we're just going to overlook the gay bacon? Look. <laughs> his, his name is Moot. He is a, a young ogren. I am, I am a handler of ogrens. The ogrens build a very strong bond with their handlers. And if they're separated for too long, they get rampant amounts of anxiety. And if it builds up too much, they go on rampages. This mm -hmm. is factual information. Wait, so like the ogre, the like the guy we passed coming in. Yes. Okay. Uh, here, I have a picture of him, and you see her take out like this old-looking, uh, freaking um, data pad, one that requires like you to charge it manually by a crank in order for it to work. crank. <laughs> nearly breaks the table. So she pulls it out. It's like attached to her purse. She pulls it out, starts cranking it up, and shows you a picture of the ogren. 
right, I'll, I'll take a look at him. He's still very young. Hmm. You can see that. So, so you, you, you say he's, uh, he went missing on a shuttle? Yes. Okay, um, well, well, I mean, we, we could certainly try and help find him. I don't think anyone else here would have any major objections. I can pay, of course. We will, of course, need a shuttle as well. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can find I'll, up here. If you, if you find the destination, I'll front the cost of the shuttle. That's much better. Of course, I won't okay. be able to pay you as much. Is that okay? Avalon looks yeah, to that'll, the that'll rest be... of the group. <laughs> looks to everyone to uh, make sure greed is very much uh, here. <laughs> kind of giving him the stink eye. Just... <clears throat> I'm sm positively smiling with like almost a uh, Whatever constitutes as a dollar sign in 40k. Avalon is just waiting for confirmation the of the other ones of blanking. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. What? We will do what we can to help. We will. We can discuss payment at a later time. Okay. Then you will afford us the shuttle when it is required. All right. I will cover the cost of this shuttle and I, I will give you uh, 200 credits. That, that'll, that'll be fine. <laughs> uh, actually. No, she believes you. Thank you. Uh, here, would I'll... you like to take this with you so you could find him? Yes. And yes, she offers that'd... you the Vox, uh, the um, the giant uh, Pictoslate. I will I'll, not carry this. I'll, I'll take it. I need you to roll strength. Oh god, <laughs> it's that heavy. Ew. God. This thing, Dang it. like, you know you could carry it, but it it's... would slow you down immensely. It is surprisingly heavy. Oh yeah, um, Imperial credits would definitely have the Emperor's face on it. Yeah. But, but we are outside of Imperial jurisdiction, yes? Mm-hmm. That's why Would there be some way yeah. e either me or uh Poor could perhaps like record or document the appearance of the Sogren? You have a data slate? So we don't have no. Does anybody here oh. have a data slate? Uh, I have a kill recorder. <laughs> that closest I try. have is a circuit board, <laughs> but I'm not. Yeah. Uh, let me take a look at your characters really quickly. Do any of you? Uh, out of oh. all, you might have. No, you do not. You do have a crew rifle. <laughs> That's pretty neat, old mosquito. I don't have a data sheet. None of you have anything. So yeah. Um, you're gonna have to just remember what this ogre looks like. Like Can I, I want to try to just pick up the thingy just to see how heavy it is. You see her pull this lever on it and like it, she looks like she's struggling with it, and you hear a pop, and then she ejects the data spool from it. It's, it's an SD card. Ah, okay. I'll, Actually, it's I'll more like a flash drive. That. And she hands it I'll to take, one of you. I'll I'll take it and tuck it in a pocket on the inside of my flag fist. I outreach to almost try and grab it, but you take it before me. I give you a look of sort of... Oh, okay then. No. Uh, but you can't really see that. I, I'm sorry, I can't read mechanical faces. Which... I just do nothing. 
Okay, so I'm going to explain the currency in this particular sector that you're in. Unlike normal Imperial space where you just have credits and uh, thrones and things of that nature, and it's based upon the output of your planet, this is actually promissory note based on guild favor. So everything okay. does have a price, and it is considered, like, guild credit is worth more, is essentially like a, a, prom, a sworn promissory note, and it would go against, like, a huge amount of honor to disregard it or destroy it. In other words, if you do, the guild might get mad at you. And if you don't accept guild credit, it means that you're operating outside the guild. But if you do, so we, it means you're operating inside the guild. So we have 200 guild IOUs. Essentially, yes, but not yet. First, you have to save the... Um, you have to save the yeah. Ogren. Okay. And at that, you look over and you see another Ogren enter the room. And it's the one that you passed upstairs. Gentlemen as it walks past. Ogren, wait a second. Have you encountered any other Ogrens here lately, uh, particularly missing an arm? You are talking about brother. Brother missing. Yes, your brother is missing. Anything you know could help. I know brother missing. Yes. And then he pats the arm. Missing hand, yes. Oh, would you happen to remember where you last saw your missing brother? And he just stands there staring at you. It no. doesn't come to you. Brother missing because... He is not here. Okay. This is a accurate and response. However, it is not entirely helpful. Um, please forgive me. Uh, Ogrens don't communicate very well through language. They communicate mostly through actions and body language. Not the most intelligent creatures. Well, that's quite neat of you. You are uh, Eldari, correct? True, Kari. Yes, um, my mistake. Uh, think of it like how you would see a. Um, and she gestures over towards uh, Joran. Yeah, I'm human. <laughs> Um, and then she, like, nods towards you. Yes. I understand you completely. Yeah. I am putting a lot of faith in you. And please bring him back alive. We, we, we will. We can't. Okay. So, in your... Uh, in one of your um, character sheets, you can go over to journal and actually write one of your first mission missions, which is rescue an ogren. And Yay. write information about said ogren to help you with your investigation. Mm, where's the journal? Is it just bio and info? Uh, in character you, sheet. If you go to character sheet, you'll see play sheet. Uh... Uh, sure. Player sheet, gear, advancements, NPC, journal. There we go. All right. Okay. So the woman looks at you and goes, I, uh, I have a little bit more information. The people that took him are more than likely going to use him for labor. Ogren are... Very strong. Hmm. Okay. So Taking more... others for labor. It's not right. <laughs> 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 she 
That's the Dark Eldar. Oh, that's funny. That is funny. A that's large good. degree of irony has been detected. I mean, obviously this isn't right. He, he's not some willing uh, member of, of, of a cast or nothing. So yeah, this is obviously not right. Oh. Ogryn love doing work. And they love being praised for their work. It is just these people took him without going through me. So, it's, uh, this is theft. But not only that, it is, it is dangerous. You don't just steal an Ogryn. Ogryn are legendary for their destructive capabilities. They are quite heavy. Well, um, we, like, like we said, man, we'll we'll do what we can to to find them. Thank you. All right, and with that, you got your first adventure. Yay! yay! Adventuring, yay! So I love those. They are quite amusing. I will try to get a note of this really quickly. Rescue Ogren! Yay! <laughs> the Ogren Mute, if I caught his name right. Moot. Yeah. Moot. Moot. <laughs> he can like even spell it himself. Oh. <laughs> Takes him a few minutes, but he can. Yeah. He can also count to this many. He used to be able to count to ten. But now he can't anymore, because he only has five fingers. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, technically, wouldn't he have seven, because he has the two fingers, like his mechanical claw? He'd have, like, two fingers? No, no he, he, he's not at that anymore. point yet. Hmm. Alrighty. So, one of the first things you gotta do is find some information about a missing Ogren. Hey, uh, Helios, thank you for the bits. You're awesome and I love you. Alright, so I will start by going to see if I can find my Kroot friend. Because I know I know Kroot are renowned trackers. Are they? Yes. Yes, they are. Okay. I, I, I actually wasn't sure. Thank you for letting me know. This is an observed fact according to some records. I do not think you're going to get any good answers from them. Don't worry about it. Look, I grew up with Kurt. I grew up around him. Condolences. Right. Right, so I'm going to go... I'm going to go see if are I can find my... You handle this creature. Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. Are right, you me. sure? You look kind of... Uh, I don't think this is the wrong way. Frail. Look, I'm a fire ward. I'm a fire cast Gorvesa. I can handle myself. I don't know. I think the roach was... Uh, had we a don't talk cast. about... We're not talking about that anymore. We're moving on. I am currently unarmed. Alright, I'm gonna go see if I can find my, uh, group friend from earlier. Okay. I need you to roll awareness. Awareness. And since you've been with Crude most of your life, you get a plus 20 to this. Nailed by two. Alrighty, well, let's see if he's trying to hide. I don't think he is. No, you you see him. All right, I'll walk up to him. Oh, little one, and it hugs you. I, I <laughs> hug him back. Um, we have a we're we're looking for someone. A uh, an ogren, big human, uh, missing an arm, wearing yellow. He was. He was, uh, stolen. 
Boss, did, not nice people. Did not picture that for your type. Anyways, I was wondering, would any of your other, uh, uh, clan members be able to help us track him down, possibly? The murder of Groot can help. Oh, I forgot they were called a murder. <laughs> Alright, um, if, if y'all could be willing to help us, then... We'll, we'll get some with a sin or something maybe you could help us track him with. We require payment. We'll, we can work that out. We require upfront payment. How about we strike a bargain? Tycona over here. Yes, hi. Has some food. I do know Would that like boots do, in fact, love you, their food. Would you like... Like not? Or roaches? Mm. A grot, sorry. Let me remind you that roaches survive almost anything. Might be handy for you. Mm. Go ahead and roll charm. Okay. Uh, charm? Yep. No modifiers? No. I don't think you're going to need it, to be honest. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Alexis, why did you say that? I, would you like to fate point reroll that? Your time no. is 13. Okay. So, um... Okay, they fell by four or five degrees, you failed by six. So, unfortunately, the thing looks at it and goes, We have roaches. We also have gnats. Grots. The people who stole this ogren are not very nice people. I'm sure there will be plenty of bodies for y'all to eat afterwards if there's violence. Still require upfront cost. I'm a gnat, grot. What about, what about, and I'll unsling the crude rifle and present it up to him. Like I said, this rifle is far, far beyond my means of using it. Mm. It it require it requires a warrior much grander skill than I to wield it. This gun was entrusted to you. It would be a great disservice for us to take it. But you'd be doing me a great honor by helping us find this missing ogre. He likes you. Does he wish to mate? <clears throat> I, I am truly flattered, but... <laughs> God... <laughs> Sorry, that's Damn, just going to be a running joke with this crude from now on. <laughs> <clears throat> Session zero. Oh, no. oh, but God. anyway, uh, the crude, jokes aside, the crude looks at you and just goes, I cannot accept this weapon. Crude weapons must be earned. They are given to us and entrusted to us by a shaper. Well, I didn't get this from a shaper. You did. Read the markings. Do you perhaps require a service in return? Hmm. Looks over. Blue blood has been feeling weak. <clears throat> God, that voice is hard to do. I apologize. Blue, bo blue blood seems <laughs> kind of weak. Could use a once over. You are a doctor of fruit. 
I am not entirely familiar with crude anatomy. Unfortunately, however, I am more sufficient than no medical professional at all. According to likely probabilities. Medical service. In exchange for a tracking service. I want somebody to roll a commerce test. Someone other have... than me, because my rolls have been terrible. Uh, Who's brought the best in terms of that? My commerce is under... Oh, Who has I've the got best 37 in intelligence. Oh, it's intelligence-based? Uh, commerce is apparently intelligence-based. Or it's either on? intelligence or and fellowship. Or, or intelligence fellowship. Intelligence is uh, 35. Mine is 37. Wait, don't we to curry get minuses when interacting with other people? Yes. Um, what about your fellowship? What is that? Uh, fellowship is a uh, 33. Okay. Yeah, mine's 20. <laughs> Mine, mine's a 31. So am I the smart one here? I have to try and do commerce. Mm-hmm. Use your logistics. All right. Um, it is an opposed test. Okay, so they had a thir they had a thirty-five in intelligence for these specific crew, because the crew that you're talking to is actually smart. Yep. They failed by three degrees of success with a 65. Mm, medical service. I just convinced them then, I guess, because I failed by second, two, right? Second deal. Your blades, they drip with some type of toxin. Would you throw in toxin? as well this would be your combat drugs all right uh, i don't have combat drugs i have two doses of poison oh that would work they're only asking for one like think about sure put it to good use yeah they're my drugs i'm not giving them away <laughs> Of my drugs, but, I killed them myself. But Dare told me everyone just gives them yeah, away. I, just, I stole <laughs> these myself. How could you? Oh, anyway, you know, but it, you know before, what a stranger asked if he wants wait, drugs. Say before, yes. before I get kicked off of twi uh, Twitch. <laughs> oh no! What have we done? Let's uh, let's proceed with the story. We are talking in character. Okay. So the croup takes the vial, looks at it, swirls it around, and then drinks it. And then passes it between the other croup, and they all drink it. Just a tiny bit of it. Yes, this will do quite well. Smart creatures. That may be detrimental to health. However, due to croup anatomy, you will likely survive. Oh, they'll they'll be better than fine. They'll be better than survive. They'll be fine. Now, take a look at blue blood. Okay. So, who's this blue blood? It is a crew with blue feathers, who is yeah. um. Well, you're gonna have to roll Medicaid to diagnose him first. Hmm. Could I try and talk with him in Tau? Yes. Uh, I'll I'll go to him in Tau and just ask, are are you feeling all right? Everything, everything on in the right spots. This is um, I I can only do one crude voice, so forgive me. Wait. So blue blood looks at you and just goes, feeling weak. Yeah. So I can like select one of these modifiers and some of them seem to have like two and some are free, like what they're 
because like hey with logic I can click on the thing to the right and it will be like oh intelligence or agility apparently but is that the case uh, um, what you're looking I too at. I too have a Medicaid skill yeah. Uh, what you're looking for is, um, you go on Medicaid, uh, you can do it on any of those three. Yeah. If you want. I will do it on my highest, which is perception. Okay, and you're getting assistance, so it's another plus 10 and then a minus 30 for dealing with an alien. So, minus 10 then. Yep. Oof. Yay, it continues. Should I fate point? Probably, or considering a wait. really bad failure could kill it. Is okay then. <laughs> Is there any way I can get some further assistance? Or am I. If, uh, y given that I'm more familiar with uh, Crude, would I have any better odds at taking a shot with assistance from uh, Richter? Um, unfortunately, the only thing you can give him is a plus 10. Does anybody would else have Would it be better the other way around? Should... Uh, it'd it'd, it'd be the same roll. Alright, go mm. ahead and spend the fate and re-roll it. You can spend another fate to give it plus 10 if you want. So it evens out. You know what? I'll do that. Okay. So I'm down to... Oh! So, as you go down the crude's neck, you start seeing that there is a bulge on the side of it. It is from some type of cancerous cell. But with crude anatomy, you know that they isolate these, and unfortunately, in its position, it is just sitting and choking it, and that's why his skin started turning blue, because of lack of oxygen. So, with a quick You're... cut, you pull this, uh, essentially, cis out of him, and what do you do with it? Um, I guess there's not much value to it considering it's a cancerous lump. It is kind of weird. You said that this was supposed to go away. Um, so it just got lodged in his throat functionally. Yeah. Uh, then I will just, I guess, discard it or just leave it on a table or something like, well, here's your problem. It's like, it appears the issue has been extracted. This tumorous substance was lodged in the throat and uh. was unable to be effectively treated through natural immunity. Are you gonna eat that? Negative. And it takes it from you. Looks at it, puts it in one of its pockets. All right. It is a deal. And the crude goes for a handshake. I'll Who reach accepts up and, the deal? I, I will reach up and handshake as well. Okay. And now you have the crude to help you. So I'll go ahead and roll for the crude as... Um, okay, hang on. We're going to say this. It'll take us a few hours to find something. But when we do... Will come to you. Would uh would would any kind of scent of uh of the Sogren be beneficial? Yes. All right, give me give us a moment. Uh, is the woman who gave us a mission? Is she still in the bar? Yes, she is. All right, I'll go back up to her and uh. So we 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 got some friends who are really good at tracking, but I was wondering, do you have anything with his uh with his scent? on it uh, not on me personally would you have some back at your uh domicile 
I could never afford a domicile. Um, but in my room, I I can give you a pair of his, uh, um, he doesn't change much. I think I, I think I follow you. So yeah, after a 10 minute walk, you walk up, you get the article of clothing, you bring it to the crew, the crew sniff it, throw up, and then proceed to try to track it. It'll take us only 20 minutes to find it. Don't ask how a crew oh. knows the concept of 20 minutes. I don't feel like explaining that. The odor crew. is rather pungent. It, it's I crew, do not know. It's shenanigans. I should smell. All right. So after 20 minutes, get a few tests. Which on the first one, they roll a 24 and find him. Doing well, better than us. They find where he could be. See, this is why you, you talk to the crew. This is why you make friends with them. They left through a shuttle from this cargo bay here. And they show you it on the hololith. All right, all right. After so, that, we cannot track them. All right, that's perfect. That'll give us a that gives a good place to start. We we can work with that. Very well. Our deal is done. We will be sure to bring you some of the spoils. Uh, some of the people who stole this ogram through extra payment. That is unnecessary. Unnecessary, but still beneficial. Very Thank well. you for visiting Vakhide Medical. Please come again soon at your nearest inconvenience due to severe injury. <laughs> Imagine, uh... Record just like moving like a Disney animatronic every so often as he talks. Yep. Alrighty. So with that, do you head down to the um to the shuttle? Uh I'm thinking we yeah. can go try to get some information and find out what shuttles were in this docking bay. I mean this is a station, right? There should be some kind of dog master who keeps track of that. Yes, there would oh. be. That could prove uh, fruitful. All right. I mean, at least that's how it is in in the Empire. I'm not sure if y'all in Imperial stations are like that. If your ships are constantly exploding. Look, experimental technology, okay? That was the very first attempt we had at it. I am not entirely familiar with standard Imperial docking procedures due to the nature of my homeworld. I am unable to completely assist you in this. Well, I think we'll go down and try to get the docking bay information and then we'll see if we can track down a... Uh, Dock master or a dock official. Yeah, you just want to get docked, don't you? Anyway, <laughs> jokes aside, you head down towards there. You see a rather interesting looking tech priest of some description. They're no longer wearing their robes, but you can still see the skirt of the Mars pattern robe. They're still kind hey, of wearing hey. it. Look, there's another drone person. What is it that you want of me? Do you wish for travel? Travel uh, is a hundred thrones. Or a hundred credit. No, we, uh, we're looking for information on uh, what shuttles may have left a certain uh, docking bay. And you have payment for this, yes? This information? Uh, 
Um, so we know which docking bay specifically. Yep, and you are currently there talking to a female tech priest. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything that we can do or provide that she might want? Well, I assume uh, the tech priests uh, should interact yeah. with her. Is there perhaps something we could do in exchange by the glory of the Omnisire? Gloria. I do a little cog. Oh, that's cute. Um, yeah, you can, uh, you can do these things, which get you in pure, which get you guild credits, and then you can give those to me, and I can give you the information you seek. Are you, are you talking about a job? Um, are you I think you're talking about this? a job. Mm. Is the cogitators oh around? Oh my gods, look at how young you are. Are you a fresh explorator? Uh, Alexis, were there any cogitators around? There is. But she is talking directly to you. Yeah. Excuse me, but did you by chance say gods? Hmm. Oh, are you, of... are you one of those ones that believes the, the Omnisai is just one? This is not an interpretation I am familiar with. However, I am familiar of those who worship multiple deities. They are often hostile. Oh, and let me guess, you got your teachings through... The basic books, yes? Mostly. Hmm. That's, that's and field work. Extensive field work. Yes, and I got left on this planet. A few dozen... Oh, I lost track of time. But needless to say, your worship of a single Omnissiah is archaic. We celebrate the Omnissiah as one and all. If we were to speak binary, why would there not be multiple of the Omnissiah? All collective, all one, all all. Slowly turn to stone. You would both know that this is an acceptable belief in the Omnissiah, as well as, um... In Imperial Records, there are acceptable beliefs of the Emperor in different lights. As in, one planet yeah. believes that he's the sun, one planet believes that he's a dung beetle. That's actually canon. One planet yeah. thinks that he is this uh, immortal deity. Apologies, there must have been an issue with loading my understanding of Imperial and Admech scripture. I am more now familiar with your interpretations of faith of the glorious Omnisire in whatever form they may take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, credits. Uh, we, we are were kind of a mat short at the moment. Yeah, you are. I'm sorry, was that, was that a joke in my expense of hot or the lack of funds? First one, then the other. She's very oh. observant in noting that you are both short and we are, as a whole, broke. Now what about hmm. you, tall, dark, and spooky? First of all, thank you. I'm glad you noticed my looks. <laughs> Not spooky. <clears throat> Sorry, he's no. like six foot tall and covered in spikes. And you are equally unsettling. Yes. He's six foot five, thank you very much. Look, we are currently in quite a hurry. We do not have a lot of time. However, 
We have been tasked with something that is going to give us a great pay. Mm. And if we manage to do said task, I would be willing to split majority of my money towards yours. If we will get that information that we require. So I have to promise you, let me just put these pieces together. I have to promise you transport on my ships to go after an and to go after something or for the information for the something that you are looking for. And all I get is the promise of a tall, dark Eldar? Uki. What? Um, what yes. Is, what? You forgot Spiky. Our chances of survival and success are very high. We hmm. have managed to hire some crews. Oh, this wow. You have some... Um, Wow, I I am I am amazed. The things that work for table scraps work with you. Thank you. And yes, hey, the the crew are quite noble beings. Sarcasm detector off the charts. While they do offer their services for cheap, that means not a lot of our money will go towards them. And you do know that they are good fighters. They are also good trackers, which is what we need. Therefore, our chances of success is high. If it means anything, I I believe in paying debts. So, um, if he gives the information, we owe you. And he even believes in paying debts. Wow. That's an interesting concept. That's quite foolish. I just assumed yes, and he's also and short. Somewhere else. I mean, I I personally think like the, the great teacher of the greater good is to benefit everyone. The greater what? The, the, the greater good. The greater guilds. Ah, oh, this is guild work. Well, of course. Why didn't you start with that? Used to that idea. I was under the interpretation most of us work within guild jurisdiction. But yes, we have been set up with this job through a reliable guild operative. Ah, uh, okay. Very well. Very well. If this is part of the guild, then present to me your oath cog, and I will make this promissory note. Yeah. A reality. Uh, uh, minus at the, uh, at the, uh, hut we were in. The room. I think I left it on top of the fridge. What about, uh, am... the others? My help cog is currently absent along with many intricate parts of my body and my Weapons. Hmm. If you'll, if you'll just pardon us for a moment, we'll uh, we'll be right back with those oath cogs. Guess we have to go back to the uh, the room. Please go to Lost and Found to recover missing items. <laughs> How did that work out for your limbs? Mixed. Well, it is quite obvious what we need to do, isn't it? I I, I nod to everyone, as oh. if they know what I mean. Go go Are find someone with an oath suggesting... that we can borrow. Borrow, yes. You for appear prefer... to be suggesting something illegal, for, preferably peaceably and not. Of violence? I have an I have actually quite the idea. Could we not convince them that we have misplaced ours? As we remember what Do says. We all remember Do, don't we? 
the Grots yeah, yes. are known for borrowing and taking. We could go to them. Okay. Okay, I follow you. I follow you. Yes. That's fun. So we kill them and take it. The oh, that's more like it. An interesting and important asset as well. If we do not eliminate them, despite the fact they are Xenos. And thus a threat. Yes, we are so all So we're all in agree on killing the Grots. Not not entirely, but I do agree we should go talk I am the Grots. Seventy four percent in favor of exterminating Grots. However, I am not sufficiently armed. What what is it with you people in wanting to kill everything? Oh it just ain't us. And it's fun. This desire for bloodshed is relatively low. Let's just let's just go talk to the grots. I just wish for survival. Okay. And so isn't that all we want? After about five minutes, you wander down through and you find the place where the grots are being held up. I get the tractor beam. Get the tractor beam. This this that's a big one. Yes, yes. Get that. Get that. Get that. Get that. Get that. Uh, uh, grots. Yes. Oh, um. No grots here. We are not grots. Who, of course whatever, not. Of course not. Whatever y'all are, can we possibly ask for some uh trade or maybe some information about where we could get a certain item but oh trade. they want to trade they want to trade oh what do we trade Does trade me no trade is when we get stuff from them oh trade yes. definition yes. provided trade. you give us well. stuff the lexicon you give us stuff yes. and we'll give you stuff yes we will accept one trade great that's Fantastic. We require guild. What was it? Cogs. Oath, oath, oath cog. guild cogs are required. We require oath cogs. Specifically, five. Just one. There are five of us. Cogs. Oath cogs are guild. Guilders are dangerous. Guilders. Guilders make us unhappy. Ah, uh, but I have. A very good fries. Good fries? Fries are yummy. I do like The fries. best fries and a great price. Oh. We have them in the room. <gasps> However, we will, of course, uh, require to do trade first. Well, how, how, about, how about we offer something first? I'll reach my back and I'll pull out. Jorin, Jorin, Jorin. Everything is under control. Yeah, Jorin, jerk. Just saying, I have a really yeah, good No, no, no. Don't trust Jaren. You're short and you're a jerk. <laughs> trade to offer. We will that is a trade. strange choice of words to use in front of Grotz. We have various precious metals, shiny trinkets, and even... Now, you will have to keep this a secret until yes. you have it. We have a fully functioning brand new splinter rock. That, is, that could be yours. But we do require the old cup. It's but it's one of those big weapons that shoots like... It, it, it shoots like nails. I think. A shooter? Well, fine. I They're offering us a shooter? Just... A big person guess... shooter. We will take the big shooter. Big person shooter. I guess I'll just keep my super my super poke stick. I guess I'll just keep it. Not for trade, then. Super poke sticks are yes. dumb. Yes. No, no, they, they, are, they are dumb. And they smell bad. <gasps> You're... You're not you're not interested in, no. in the poke stick at all, so we'll we'll trade no. the other things. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. yes, 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 yes. One trade. Yes, yes. Exactly. Do you have one of them? No. Can Wait. you get some? Hold on. Hold on. Holy fuck, I rolled an eleven. Language. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to actually have it. <laughs> I'm going to ignore the fact oh. that you have said language. 
Well, they probably have a giant pile of junk and they just rummage through and it's like, oh, yeah, they are. We have one. So you, you hear their little hands going and as they dig through a pile. And There's like a chain of them they pull out. You just, you just see them like digging through things and they go, one oath thing. Very good. That's very good. Now, I want the person want the with person. the oath, oath cog, yes. to follow me so we can do the trade. Oh, he's dead. No. No. Yes. See, his arm is in it. You do trade with me. You get treasure and gun. Oh. I get Oathcock. Wait. You will need to follow me to our room where we keep it all. We're not allowed to. Guards you are going to, said to, to receive a lot of gun. Okay. What if Ricker. I offer... Fricker. Sit tight. You are, wearing a... you are wearing a cloak. <sighs> will you... It is of highest importance that we receive the Oathcock. Please let the grot hide under your cloak. <laughs> a uh, one of the it's gonna be him on top of the shoulders of our crowd. He's got a little baby. <laughs> a mechadendrite sort of goes on like a broken one, which has like bits of sparking copper at the end goes underneath, like, behind, and lifts the coat like it's a hand, like, opening out, a like, an overcoat. It's sort of lifting it up for the grot to go underneath, like, pulling it back like a curtain. Um, and he just sort of goes, and you hear, like, some static noise that might be interpreted as a sigh. And you see them grab like a, a giant like potato sack essentially, and he ties that to his back, and he's just like, "Go out, steal, borrow, trade." Yes. You will need this bag for all the treasure you're about to get. Salvaging is important. Yes, yes, yes. And a brand new gun. <laughs> Big shooter. <gasps> no. Uh, okay, and then Avalon is gonna, you know, lead. Uh, Rick, Ricker von uh, Grot. Ricker von. Uh, and uh, oh, sorry, Ricker von Grot. Grot to the uh, the habitat. I'll yeah. follow and, behind. And uh, I need you to roll stealth check. Yeah. yeah. Oh, us so, or one of the person who is well, hiding the Grot under the guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's be me. me. Oh. <laughs> the last time this happened. Uh, oh, thank god, I can do stealth under perception. What? Uh, apparently. Um, yeah? Agility or perception. No, it makes sense to um, do it under perception with this. Okay. Because my agility is not nearly as good as my perception. Alrighty, go ahead oh, and roll I'm it. I'm just trying behind uh, shaking my head. Any modifiers? Any assistance? No? There's no negatives. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> All right, language. It's no. negative five. Sorry. Uh, Average person has thirty-five. They rolled a ninety-eight. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> like the most... I, I hate all of this. <laughs> so the most obvious, like, there's this grot. You know that uh, that moment from Emperor's New Groove where Krunk is like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Like some people walking pie. Or and the gods like Or is that scene <laughs> from Dragon Prince? Oh my yes. god. So... <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, so... the grots just like beep boop beep boop. I am part of Mechanicus. <laughs> beep boop beep boop. <laughs> beep boop. Oh, there's like the potato sack and the little legs underneath the robe. I'm just just like, imagining uh... like Rictus is on. The Grot's shoulders, the Grot's just walking, so it's Rick just with Grot legs. Yeah. <laughs> so I picture it. Austin Powers on top of Mini-Me. 
<laughs> anyway, somehow it works. Yeah. God damn it. Okay. I did not know I uh, could feel that level sometimes. of embarrassment after that part of my lobe was blown off in an incident. Are we outside the um, the room? Yeah. The hotel room. Okay. Um, Avalon looks down to the uh, the gremlin I and the uh... open up and let the grot out of the robe. <laughs> okay. Now there is a lot of treasure. Uh, me and my team here are going to help protect you in case uh, anyone tries to arrive. Um, but you are going to need both hands to carry all this treasure. Yes? Yes. It is a lot of treasure. It is a lot. Okay. I will open a door and you will get me, you will hand me, hand over the, uh, the, the guild cog. Yes? Yes. Okay. So he takes the guild cog Oath and, cog. um, Oath cog, sorry, opens uh, the door. And, uh, waits for the little, uh, Gretchen to, uh, go in. And as soon as the Gretchen is in, he's gonna shut the door and then shoot the, um, the, uh, control panel. <sighs> oh, no. <laughs> um, roll damage. Wait. Okay. Wait, I'm sorry. Your plan was just to lock him in a room? Yes. Damn it. Don't foil it. I was going to kill him. Don't you, don't you think the small little thing that apparently is known for sneaking around is going to find a way out? Maybe. But we're going to be gone then. Was there a window? I Wait, was but... aware of the fact that you did not want to kill him. Okay, so was it going to roll hits or damage? Just roll damage. Okay. Well, I get more pleasure from duping a uh, dumb creature. Ah, fair enough. Yes, you destroy it. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of damage! Alright, make sure you take away all of your pistol ammunition that you're using, by the way. Uh, yes. Because you unfortunately do? don't have that much. Well, you have 120 for your pistol. Okay, uh, where do I... Uh, go to the weapon and go to clip. For some reason, they say clip instead of magazine. I don't know why. Yeah. Clip, clip. Name, special, clip. Okay, yep. And you've shot three times so far. Okay, so... It... All right. Which... So you trap that creature inside there. Your weapon doesn't make too much noise as it breaks the uh, thing. And you just hear a bunch of banging and breaking as the grot is looting your entire room. That's okay, there's nothing but trash in there. You, you, yeah? You, you locked him in our room? You wish to stay in there more? I I could have just trained him the training knife. And we would have got have, it at the dock. Do you have no honor? You do you have no standards? I would not would wish he to stay have in that appreciated room again. a secretary board? Likely not as much as me. Never mind. Plus, I'm sure the creature is quite happy that it has all the materials in there. <laughs> including. Is it just you hear tearing and breaking and everything? I did wish to gain access to the fridge. All of the materials in there are probably worth, like, a quarter of a, uh, credit. More than likely. Oh, so, I would suggest that we shouldn't stand around long before he attracts attention. Yes, to the, uh, docking area. <laughs> Alright, and after a ten-minute walk, you come back to the dock- the docking area. In which the woman looks at you and goes, Oh, you found it. We, we yes, did. We did. It was in a room, as we said. Ah, in your room. I need you to roll the sieve. 
Ah, <laughs> there we go. Mm, okay. Uh, deceit? Deceive, okay. She looks Oof. at you and just goes, and this is guild business, is it? Yes. Indeed it is. You can You're ask, uh... Forming a search and rescue operation. Oh. You can ask, uh, do, if you're familiar with them. Good. Nine. You'll back us up. And, um, if I were to scan this oath cog, it would come up with your name? Yes. All right, then. Let's go ahead and take a look at this oath cog, then, shall we? I've never given them my name, so... Quad Litter. That's me. Ah. You are 100% on this. Yes. Maybe 95%. Mm. Joran. Not now. You're short. <laughs> uh, I have to say, ma'am, you're a little bit uh, more flat chested than your picture lets on to believe. And she hands yes. you back the oath cog, and you see we are the, like this. <laughs> you see the uh, brightly, like almost valley girl look of this person. <laughs> this is an old photo. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be updated. Well, needless to say, I support you in all of your decisions. Uh, may you correct you. it going for going forward. I will require a hundred throne, a hundred credits when you get back. We well, of certainly will and return to pay that debt. I will make sure that I keep my mouth shut about this little uh, incident. incident. <sighs> oh. All right. So the information we are looking for were any shuttles that have left in this various time frame from this uh, docking bay. And I'll go through and give her the information of roughly what time the... My friend. My friend. I have but one shuttle. It left earlier. It has come back today. It is going to leave today it goes to the same location each and every single time okay, well that hmm. greatly simplifies things now, uh... I didn't see nothing I didn't hear nothing and there is only materials being transported. Do I make myself clear? Crystal. Yes. Yeah, yes. And the uh, guild need not know about this? Guild not need know about what? <laughs> and here I was thinking you were the simpleton. It's only most of the time. Records redacted. Have a safe flight. And with that, you can board the small vessel and take off. And that is where we are going to call this episode of the Carousel of Chaos. So, you have landed on a strange new world, a strange new space station in this case, where Xenos and Human live side by side in an uneasy alliance. 
The tensions are high in this bar, and at a pin drop, violence can happen. Theft and slavery, because good old 40k. It has been... a... <laughs> crazy, to say the least. But now Chaotic. you have your first mission. Find so, the and, and we've the only the already sold off the majority of our potential earnings. <laughs> it's a 200 only per... roughly 50 percent <laughs> but i want to thank everybody for playing i want to thank everybody for watching this will be happening again next week at the same time so please tune in if you enjoyed this please follow the channel as well as giving uh angry coffee a follow as well if i was smart i would put his link here but i did not copy it and i am dumb and i will do that next time i promise Thank you, everybody. As always, I'm Norn Queen Alexis. Love you guys. Bye.